So you finally get invited to do a self-tape audition for a TV show that you love. There's just one problem. The tape is due tomorrow and you have nobody to read with you. <sighs> Bring on the anxiety. <laughs> By the end of this video, you'll uncover my top four hacks to help you still deliver a performance you can be proud of. For the best acting advice and more audition tips and tricks, subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get notified when I post a new Actors Daily Bread video every Tuesday. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey you! Before you dive into this episode, don't forget your free gift. Click the link in the description below to grab your copy of my Get Booked Playbook. Learn how to face your fears, learn how to become a booking magnet, and learn the inner game of booking more work. Grab it now and enjoy the episode. What's up? I'm Christine Horn, known as The Booking Magnet, and I am the founder of Hollywood Bound Actors. And I've helped hundreds of actors from around the world learn how to crush their auditions, book more work, and live a life that they love. And now it's your turn. Look, I get it. I've been acting for over 20 years and self-taping has become really popular in the past, I would say 10-ish years. And it's not always easy. There's not always someone sitting at your house ready to help you. You don't always have a friend that you can call. But listen, what you don't wanna do is use your own voice for a self-tape. It's just really bad. And I'll go into that deeper on another episode. But just know that there are services and companies out there just ready and willing to help you. So all you need to do is go to Google and look up audition taping services and then put your city. And you will find a bunch of taping services that are used to taping actors last minute. They'll usually have like a calendar that you can pick your time. You show up ready for like a 15 minute slot or a 30 minute slot. I will say this, make sure that you get enough time because you don't wanna feel stressed and under pressure if you only booked 15 minutes to save money when you really needed 30 minutes. So just go ahead and Google that and that way you can make a list. Don't just pick one, find several, at least five in your name neighborhood or in your city so that way if one person is busy or closed you have another option okay so you don't have to do this with people who you know you can hire someone to help you all right let's dive into tip number two so listen let's just say you can't get to a studio let's just say you ain't got no car can't nobody give you a ride you ain't got no uber money like i don't know Whatever the situation is, let's say you can't leave the house you have an option to go online and download some helpful apps for actors. Here are my top three that I've actually used before. One is We Audition, another is Actor Trade, and another is Mood Caster. At the time of this recording, those are pretty popular. Listen, your experience will differ based on what device you're using, Apple or Android, okay? Don't listen, I start a fight, okay? Anyway, the beauty, one of my favorites though out of the top three is We Audition because you can also use it on your desktop. And basically you log in, create an account for free. Um, well, not for free, there's a there's a fee, but it's very minimal. You can also become a reader yourself and help out, help out other people, but you can just log in, see who's online, pick someone that you wanna read with you based on what how you research them, and then voila, you now have a reader that's technically in your house because their voice is gonna come through the computer or come through your phone and it sounds like they're in the room with you. So now there's no excuse for you to talk about how you don't have a reader, okay? Use one of those apps and see which one you like best and that fits in your budget. All right, now I don't like to talk to myself. It's already weird being on YouTube. Comment below and let me know where you think you fall on the self-tape game. How would you rate yourself? Zero being, girl, I ain't got no self-tape game. And 10 being, my self-tape game is popping. I book all the time from tapes. Let me know, put it in the comments below <laughs> right now. All right, so my third tip is for you to just use FaceTime or Duo, some kind of uh, video conferencing situation. So you email your friend, your cousin, your actor accountability buddy, send them the script, and they read with you through the app. And you don't necessarily need them to look at them. You're really just using their voice. So try that, it works famously. But I will give you this warning. You may be thinking, what about Zoom or softwares like that? And for me, this is no shade to Zoom or any of these other softwares, but sometimes there's a lag in the connection based on the internet. And what you don't need is you saying your line like, didn't I tell you to come here? Barb, didn't I tell you? To? Like, you don't want, <laughs> I don't know what that name is, Bart. What? I don't know. You don't want that lag. So you get a better chance of not having that through using FaceTime or something like Duo on an Android. All right, my fourth and final tip for you today is look, 
when all else fails and you got to get that audition in, and ain't nobody trying to hear no excuses, okay? Your phone. Drama. The, dr the drama of the setup. Use your phone. The same friend or family member or accountability buddy you were going to call to help you through FaceTime or one of these apps, just get them to call you. But don't just have them go through your phone for the sound. Don't just put them on speaker. I'd highly suggest you getting some speakers, some external speakers like these. I'll put the link in the description below. But then I'll use this, take the little port and plug it in the bottom of my phone. Now my person my friend or cousin or whoever their voice is more amplified and when I'm recording it'll sound like they're right in the room and I'll actually want to warn you actually make sure that volume is not up too high because sometimes their volume can overtake yours so that is a game changer when all else fails just do that all right so now you know how to record an audition without a reader and listen I don't want to hear no excuses if you still using your own voice after this you just ain't trying and I ain't trying to hear it <laughs> Listen though, for real, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, turn the notifications on, share it with an actor friend. And if, if you need support and want to join a fabulous supportive community of actors just like you, click the link in the description below and come join us in Hollywood Bound Actors. Have a great day and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.